the fire, fire. just caught fire. I got it, guys. Look out. Move the basket. I got it. I got the thumb. We have a fire. Hey, don't, don't move it. Don't move it. It's going to poof like that. The fryer. It's the last place you want to see it fire because you just set about 35 gallons of oil on fire. We had serious fire. This could be a pretty bad situation pretty quickly. It's not off. Oh. Hey, Tony, are we keep cooking? Yeah, I gotta put my key. Yeah. Even before we ran out the door, everyone was like, put towels over your food. Clear the kitchen. Clear the kitchen. Yeah. Everybody out the kitchen. Everyone was more concerned about their food than their own personal safety. Clear the kitchen. There was a lot of smoke. At this point, I just hope that the kitchen's still okay. What did you do? Nothing. The fryer was just turned all. You didn't see the smoke. Did it actually wood flame? It went on fire. Yes. Oh, dude. Yeah, you didn't dude. see it. Whatever it is, I mean, it went on fire. We're out of the kitchen. Hopefully, we get to uh, cook tonight. What's the matter? I'm trying to change my dish. Change your dish to what? Go with your gut. Yeah, Go with your heart. It appears that thermostat may have been off for faulty or something. Possibly something was too wet when it went in there. Uh, whatever happened, the fire caught fire. The fire protection system was pulled, put out the fire. It did the job, but it also completely contaminated all the food that was there. Yeah, you can't cook in here. Hey, chef. Hey, chef. Uh, chef, you um, cleaned up the fire. But unfortunately, the food sort of has chemical on and stuff. What? Oh, man. Shut up. So we're, we're starting over. Oh. Really? Is it that bad? Yeah, well, there's chemicals from the pencil system. But they have to scrub the whole kitchen down. So um, we're back in the kitchen prepping, recooking, and serving dinner later on tonight. We have to reprep it up and cook again in the same night. And it's been a long day. I mean, everyone's a little stressed out at this point. Anyone got Sal? Salt. Salt? I have salt at my station. And you will find a can opener. It's frustrating having to reprep the dish because I think that I could have executed my dish well, and we'll never know. We get back to Twin Brothers. The kitchen is clear. And this time, we have some countertop fryers to use. Oh. Maybe it's OK. I decide to fry my apple chips because they have gone limp. And instead of doing the medallions, I decide to cook the entire pork tenderloin in the fryer. Here I am, again, doing a technique that I would never do, but I think it will cook more evenly. I'm crossing my fingers. Set that up. Is that dish for me? No. It's an undercooked piece of pork. So I take my pork tenderloin, and when I cut it and plate it, I realize that the center is raw. I'm trying to get that tenderloin cooked so that I can actually serve it. I, I have to MacGyver this. Carla, did you change your game plan the second time around? I plan to do the same thing. The one thing that was different were my apple chips. I was amazed at how crispy your chip was, but it was too sweet. It wasn't the apple chip that I had intended, but I needed some, I had to put something on it, you know. My meat was unevenly cooked. It was quite pink in the center. I think Gail's being kind. It was, it was pretty raw. And there was a reset because of the fire. You had a chance to, to rethink this, and why did you? But you, you all, that batch was the only one that was like that. And I'm, I'm sorry you all got that one. Well, someone well, has got it. Well, not all of us. To Tom, I made this pork dish that put it, I put in the fryer, and then I finished it on the grill. I mean, that's his vision of what I did all yeah. night. It's, it's, and I it's, didn't. It's, based on the comments, I would think it's Antonia. See? But. My shrimp was overcooked. No, it but my, you could not eat mine. But Eric said, you know, he his, his tenderloin was cooked perfectly. That's the point. I mean, one out of four doesn't keep you here. Three of you cooked food from your heart and from your soul, but it didn't go far enough. It was very basic, and at this stage of the game, we need something more exciting, more punch, more spirit, more life. Carla, please pack your knives and go. Thank you so much. This has been amazing, and I appreciate it. The judges made the right decision. I didn't have a winning dish. I wanted to go home making a really good dish that I was proud of. And I think that's disappointing. <sighs> I think in the end, undercooked pork just really did her in. 